Today, Dave and I are going to show you how we turned this footboard into a bench. First, Dave started by cutting a 2x4 down for the frame. We decided to cut the corners at 45 degree angles because it would look nicer once finished. We cut two for the sides and one for the front and one for the back. After we got the frame cut out, I used a large drill bit to make countersink holes in the edges of the front and back 2x4s. This makes it so after the screws are in, I can fill the holes in with wood fill to hide the screws. Next, we applied glue to the 45 degree angles. This will help the joints to be much stronger. Then we placed a side and front 2x4 together and used two 2 inch screws in our countersink holes to secure them. We repeated this on all four corners. Once we had the frame put together, we cut down a 2x4 for added support in the center. To secure it, we again pre-drilled countersink holes on each side. And then we used two 2.5 inch screws on each side to hold it into place. Now that the frame is made, we are ready to attach it to the footboard. We wanted our seat to be 16 inches high, so we placed the top of the 2x4 frame at 15 and a fourth inches high. That way, when we add our pine planks on top, it will be right at 16 inches. Dave pre-drilled the screw holes with an eighth inch thick bit, and then he used two and a half inch screws to secure the frame to the footboard. For the legs, we used old legs from a table. We cut them down to length with the chop saw. And then we used a big clamp to hold the leg into place while we attached it to the bench. Dave used the eighth inch bit to pre-drill the holes. Then we used our large bit to create a countersink hole. We then used two inch screws to secure the leg to the bench. Now that the frame and legs are attached, it is time to measure for the top. We wanted a one inch hangover on both of the sides and the front, so we measured accordingly. Once we had our measurements, I used the chop saw to cut the top down. In order for the top to fit snug into the back, Dave marked where we needed to cut out notches. I then cut them out with a jigsaw. I attached the top with my finish nailer, but I waited to attach it until after I stained the boards so I didn't get any stain on the bench. 